So I've just reached a part of the West Island Way where it opens up and you see a larger landscape. You can see Ben Lomond in the distance and Dumgoy in part of the Campsies much closer to you. It's a beautiful section and it gets a little bit rocky. I would suggest a mountain bike is the best for this. Um, but I've seen many people doing it on hybrids and cyclocross bikes as well. It doesn't matter how many times I go along the start of the West Island Way from Morgai, it always looks stunning. It doesn't matter what the seasons are. At the moment it's summer and it's filled with uh, gorgeous leafy green trees and bluebells. It's really lush, but it, even in the other seasons it's beautiful. Right, that's me. I'm off to cycle towards Dumgoyne, which has Glengoyne Distillery at the bottom. on the West Island Way but I'm going to turn off to head towards Dumgoyne and Glengoyne Distillery now. Um, if you were following the West Island Way which goes all the way to Fort William in the Highlands over 96 miles you would um, head straight on over there. What I'm going to do is go up towards the road and turn left. Here you can see Dumgoyne which I'm going to go in front of shortly and over in the distance there, the white building in the foreground is Glengoyne Distillery. The pipe truck runs between Blainfield or Strathblane and Killern and it follows the line of an I think it was a 19th century um, development that was to transport water from Loch Catrin to Glasgow. It was decided then there wasn't enough clean water. I think there'd been an episode of um, pollution or poor water that led to illness in Glasgow and so it was decided that they would build a pipeline all the way from from Loch Catrin, um, Freshwater Loch, down to Glasgow and so this track that I'm going to be going on now follows the line of this pipe and it's essentially it was a sort of aqueduct you can't really see it because the pipes under under the ground but there is um, evidence of little aqueduct bridges along the pipe track and I'll stop and um, I'll take some pictures of those. It's absolutely fascinating and it's a beautiful route that you can follow um, all the way from Killern to Strathblane and obviously it goes further up um, towards Loch Catrin. But it's really interesting and it's an amazing piece of engineering. You can look it up, there's some heritage sites that will tell you more about it. pipe track are gates. They're gates mainly to keep livestock in fields and it's really important that you shut them properly. The latches are a bit old in places so you have to make sure that they shut properly. There's this sign here that makes it very clear. To be honest it is a little bit of a pain if you're on your bike. But if there's two of you or three of you you can set it up as you go along so that you don't have to open so many. Anyway, when you stop, 
on a nice day, you can always take a look at the views. Trek comes down into Blainfield and Strathlane. It joins the main road and you want to turn right and then just where those white buildings are you can turn left and take another sharp left onto a track. back on the other side of the road again you can see Dumgoyne in the distance there I'm following signs for the John Muir Way which will connect in to the West Island Way going through Mugdock and back to Morgai as you can see it's a lovely evening Ben Lomond in the distance there beautiful day <laughs> 